All right, so today the plan is to build a Y zipline, which is basically a zipline that goes into a Y. So the basic plan is to build the V of the zipline first. Let's call this the anchor of the V and drop both ends from the clip. Then we have to attach the actual zip line to the anchor and drag the cable to the other side. This is gonna be probably one of the most difficult parts here. So we have like 50 kilos of, of cables right here um, and we need to carry this 400 meters into the woods. We'll set uh, first the left anchor point here and the right anchor point like 40 meters. Have we ever set up the zip line at all? Except for uh, once for a Russian swim. Oh, I remember. <laughs> you mean me? I remember. <laughs> once we set, uh, um, you remember the zip line into the cave? Gap the rowing machine connecting the two banks. <laughs> Got stuck in the mud. So we are on the other side of the river now. We're making the starter anchor and it's gonna be high up in an old oak tree. I have one try, Miljik has one try. And if we don't succeed, repeat. Oui. <laughs> I did not succeed. <laughs> we decided to go innovative. projects we're doing here with Didi Squad are just endless struggle for survival, or at least safety. Mostly it was me hanging up up there on the wire and I was there for hours and hours till my legs were numb. We're gonna make the top anchor here in the trees. Uh, the other two anchors are on the other side of the river. Okay. Did you feel? We used three systems to uh, get the zip line tight enough. One was just pulling by hand. The second way was to strap it with the truck strap. And the third way was with a winch. Waiting for the winch. That was the final stage of the tightening. I suppose we're pushing the limit of this winch because it's made for 500 kilos and we don't really know how much force is on it right now. Fingers crossed. So we are guessing now which, which part will uh, break first. I'm guessing that the blue strap uh, on, uh, on the tree will break first. What do you, what do you think guys? I'm not sure about that winch. The brake on the winch is sketchy. We're going to upsail the boat and a captain to do, to do the depth check. This rock is super loose and I hope I don't hit Yanni down below me. The visibility of the water is really really bad. We have to do depth check. We figured out that left is no no zone and right it's all right. The weather is not on our side anymore. It started raining. The water is getting dirtier and we're still not finished. The neighbors across the street 
they were super nice they gave super us everything friendly. they they rent us like a workshop so now we just modified our pulley system Why zipline is done? If you think the idea is dope, subscribe to our YouTube channel and be ready for more. Um, the way up this 15 meter cliff is uh, it's not really a staircase. A super safe rope ladder. A head full of dirt. This rope. Trees have broken roots. But either we go here or we swim another 500 meters. I'm going to be the test bunny to test uh, how much weight this, this monster can carry. Now, first try for real. Three, two, one, drop! How's it looking? Yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So first try, I think it was a success. What can I say? This is what we've been working for for two and a half days. Well, not exactly. This is the test we've been working for. See ya. See ya. Wow. <laughs> yeah. The first try went well, the pull is really strange, uh, you have to wait till it pulls you up and I think it's gonna go good. It looks fine, so now we are ready for a full out test in a wetsuit. Jan is going first, he's the test bunny. I could do double for sure. <laughs> that thing is super strange. You don't know what to expect. One shot, one bad flop. We've made first tests. Uh, this, the, the swing is not as perfect as we expected. We have to do some improvements, my man. I didn't get the rotation I wanted, so I landed on my ears. I'm not satisfied. The first jump was exciting. Drop here is kind of weird because you have to like step over the rock. Yes! A lot of friends tried the swing as well, uh, there were a lot of belly flops. I'll die of fear before I hit the water, but that's okay. Nice rotation! I'm really scared, but I'm also excited. Let's go! reflecting and I landed on my a little bit on my stomach I was 
out of my breath for a while. Okay, three, two, one, now. Doing good, doing good. Oh, drop, drop, drop. I hope that I can manage to hold us for at least two seconds. I don't know what we are doing, but I'm not scared at all. What's Max doing? It's hard to see from up here, but I am in the middle of an 80 meter wide canyon. It's 30 meters deep and half of it is submerged underwater. You shouldn't underestimate Fender Sander. Never. One flip of that swing is almost impossible, so I did like double 360 belly flop. <laughs> it was cool. I was like, every time I was in the air with too much rotation, I was like, fuck, not again. <laughs> Max and Mirji, the the white triangle. White swing. triangle. Fuck! They only went once, and they they had like perfect timing. Uh, who went front flip? Max. Max went front flip, and Mirji went, went back, back flip, and they were super close in the air. We had the safety boat in the water at all times, and it did come in handy twice. <laughs> With way too much rotation, way too much height. Perfect ex execution, but you know, just the landing was a bit off. So he got knocked out, uh, he lost his memory, he got a concussion, we had to take him to the hospital. Look at this beautiful canyon. Oh, oh, oh it just got disgusting. We said, like, we need a ladder. <laughs> <This ca> <laughs> that, that's really dumb. We need a ladder. So Yanni goes in the first swing and I, when the swing goes back I do a second jump. <laughs> but we were twisting the way around and, and I was like uh, calculating <laughs> where I'm gonna be in 10 meters and <laughs> I'm bad at math. <laughs> we just... The sounds of suffering are real. Many times I was on the ladder uh, prepared for jump, I was scared as fuck. <laughs> These adventures that we're having here are just amazing and not just because you know the stunts we're doing but also all the rigging it's just so many new experiences we're learning on the way and besides that we're seeing you know Slovenia places we've never seen before and we're meeting people you know from the country like really really good people you know the whole experience wouldn't be it without these people the locations the you know rigs and of course the acrobatics um, so we modified our pulley so it won't get stuck and let's test it out uh, uh, what about new yeah. gimbal <laughs> this will use for steady shots you see <laughs> 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 <laughs>